What's happening, everyone? What's happening, guys? It is time for uh, a review of a bottle, Viv. It's a bucket list bottle. Epic time. Only 180 bottles of this Glenn, Glenn Grant 1959 Samaroli. The rarest of the roses, baby. Um, this was bottled in 1999, making yes, it a 40-year-old. Yes, sir. Samaroli bottling. It's Samaroli. got my fingers right on top. Okay, making it's our, sure you it's guys our can see. oldest Samaroli so far. 40 year old Glenn Grant Samaroli, only 180 bottles ever bottled. This was bottled at 47.3% ABV. Yes. Um, I'm showing Past you a picture strength. from the old Alliance in Singapore. Uh, when you buy uh, samples from them, they send you a picture with all the bottles of the samples that you got, and this Glenn Grant. Was uh, was one of the samples. Here's the sample jars. Now keep in mind these. to get a little healthier pour. Yeah. Like our Brora review. We yeah, did. yeah. We got three of them. We right? got three of them. Yeah. So if you if you can handle it, I'd recommend getting three. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Share it. You're gonna share this is interesting, and I, I know this is going to be a long review, so I don't want to chat too much. But yes. we meant to do this review on, uh, last time we were together. Yes, with the it Brora. Was in, it was in the glass. Um, we nosed it for a long, long time and realized that we'd already had too much whiskey and um, that it wouldn't be the ideal situation. So we spent a lot of time with it. We poured it back into the sample. Yes. And we're going to review it today uh, with a much fresher palate. Right. No, like our, our stimuli was overloaded. Yes. That yes, day. Yeah, so. yeah. Fresh so, palate. Boom. Without further ado, this has been breathing again for like an hour. Uh, whiskeys like this, this complex, need to breathe. A lot, so you can make sure you're getting the full spectrum. Right. Look, just look at that gorgeous sherry color. Unbelievable. Sam Aroli. God bless this, Silvano. This is just, it's just mind-blowing. Silvano's picks, how unique they are. How they stand out so next level. Oh, my God. This is like the, the amount, we were talking about this before, the amount of star anise, that licorice root. Is so unique. In, it's so our, unique in here. It's so beautiful and sweet. Go ahead, go ahead. No, just saying, in the college you went to, yeah. I had an apartment off campus. My walk every day passed by just bushes yeah. of star anise. Yes, yes, yes. You know, root, licorice yes. root, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. This smells like that, but drizzled in like the most exquisite honey glaze ever. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Just I'm sorry. taking me back, man. My brain just hit it, taking me back. It's crazy. You are getting mm. just rich, like strawberries, strawberry liqueur kind of uniqueness here. You're getting like pears and apple skin. The red berries are there. You're getting, then you're going to, it's so complex. It's, it's almost hard to describe. It's going in a million different directions. But it's almost like like a soy sauce, kind of like glazed sure. meat. Sure. Cooked on like a cast iron. You're getting that meatiness with that sauce, soy sauce kind of coming up. This is going to sound a little weird, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and and I, I had this the first time we nosed this, the last time we're talking about when we did the Brora. I got really heavy candied sweet motor oil, exotic yeah. like diesel yeah. fuel yeah. motor oil. Yeah. But it's almost like a thick, rich, like, you know, like reduced, uh, simmered down motor oil <laughs> sauce, dude. <Yeah. laughs> it's, but it's you know, sweet, candy. Whiskey does Nuts. that, right? Nuts. Whiskey does that. It takes the imagination and then yeah. things you've never tried, right? Yeah. You've obviously never tried motor oil. But it's like that's <laughs> where it takes your brain. That's because what it's capable of, yeah. Yeah, I definitely get, and, and I probably wouldn't this think it unless you mentioned it, but I'm definitely this getting nuts, that motor man. oil. This is not like your typical Glen Grant. It's got no, 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 funk no. to it. It's so elegant. It's 40 years old. It's so elegant, but it's also got funk yeah. and kind of rusty elements to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, typically we think of the, the Gordon McPhail, the old, beautiful Glenn Grant, 50, 60 year olds plus, you know, the antique furniture, the old leather, the books, the sherry. This is like Sovano wanted to almost like find an Isla version, yeah, like this, an old sherry Isla version of Glenn Grant. Yeah, this is. Yeah. This is, but this, this is, is not, just this is not dusty books and old leather chair, mm -hmm. and it's not leathery. 
It doesn't know it's like it's 40 years old. No. The elegance is like it's 40 years old. But it is so complex. But it's like, like you said, it's that it's that raw, like, sherry rust yes. with, like, peat funk. Like, mineral coastal, almost peat funk that you'd get in the old 50s, 60s, like, sherry Isla whiskey. Yeah, you're getting, like, plants. So different. Plants, flowers. Oh, yeah. Honeys. That star anise. Cola. Yeah, cra berries, crazy. Yeah, berry like, fruits. Like you said the plant, all kinds of crazy exotic, like vegetal, vegetal herbs and shrubs, and like I'm walking through, like I'm, like I'm foraging, walking through an exotic meadow. It's just nuts, but all sweet, candy, crystallized. It's a very, right? very difficult whiskey to explain. Very, very, very difficult whiskey to explain. You almost need like a like a four year degree <laughs> <laughs> to dig into this that, whiskey that we don't have. Yeah, I mean, like, your brain tries to hone in on one thing, and right before it can hit that mark, whoop, it pulls it to the other direction. It's It's got this, this crazy, sweet man. pipe tobacco. It doesn't remind me of Cigar Wrapper, which I mention a lot. Yeah. Um, and you would think after 40 years I would have mentioned Cigar Wrapper, but it's more mm. like a sweet pipe tobacco that I, that I get in some whiskeys. It's kind of funny, right? It's almost like we're used to, like, 55-plus year age Glenn Grants. 40's, like, young for a Glenn Grant. This is like getting, this is, yeah, this is juicy. It's just, it's, very, it's got this juicy element to it. And then that's where I get the pears and apples where I mentioned oh, it. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting like star fruits, dragon fruits too. I'm yeah. Getting avatar fruits as well. Wicked. Wicked, man. Wicked, wicked, this wicked. This is just, wow. I mean, if you handed this to me, I would not have no clue it's a Glen Grant. I would think some kind of old school Isla Samaroli something something. Oh my god, this is just. It's got this like unique minerality to it. That's just you know it's 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 more than just the wet rocks and the ocean spray. It's it's it's, it's very hard to explain. It's like I think you mentioned you mentioned one time in the past review like a, like mechanic shop. Yeah. It's like like motor oil yeah. diesel feel like a mechanic yeah. shop. But it's so sweet. It's so it's it's sweet. that's what you're saying is 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 in the background of like the sweetness. Yes. It's just yes. weird to explain. Kind of like when we did the Brora, we were expe you know explaining manure and shit like that, but right. in a sweet way. This right. is mechanic shopping, like a sweet way. Right, like say Brora's farm candy, yeah, yeah, different yeah. kinds. This is mechanics shop candy. Yeah. No, yeah, the candy is the forefront, so it's so pleasing and palatable. Man, that star but anise. But all those like yeah, the mechanics, the oils, just get your brain ticking those levels of complexity. The elegance, the complexity, the uniqueness, oh the confusion. I appreciate the confusion this whiskey's confusion. that it's causing because yeah. I, 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 I'm not going to get the chance. I don't own a full bottle of this. I'm not going to get the chance to review, you know, try this many more times. But I, I, it is really a whiskey I'd want to have many, many times to be able to really describe it the right way. I don't think I'm describing it the right, right. way. And, and I often feel like even with samples that, that we do a good job on explaining what, what, what it is. I, I don't even feel like we're doing a decent job right now explaining what this is. It's so unique. And I'll say much like this is the arena of complexity of an old Sherry 72 Brora. Like the Brora, thank God we got three samples. We have yeah. a nice heavy pour. And also it's not, it's not years in the bottle with air. But just like we we aired it out total for hours and hours yeah. and hours yeah, between yeah, yeah. pouring it, exchanging it, pouring it. So yeah. it's definitely benefited compared to the first nosing when we first popped it. I mean, I can mention things like toffee and coffee and, 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 and milk chocolate, but but those are so basic, right? Yeah. You know, those are the, the, those things are here as well. Fresh coffee though. <laughs> the coffee's pretty good. Yeah, dude. it's fresh. No, yeah, it's like walking into your Favorite local coffee shop, freshly ground roasted coffee in the morning. The strawberries are there too. Beautiful cooked strawberries. Oh, star fruit, anise fruit. Oh my god. Let's hit the palate, man. Oof. Anise yeah. fruit, bro. Yeah. They created a new fruit. I'm gonna the hit palate. the palate. The palate. Mmm.
Now, this is our first taste. Mm. We've nosed it a bunch is our first taste. Mm. Mm. Amazing old school. I'm getting more of the 40 years on the palate. Now it's more Glen Grant. A little more musky. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even going to say oaky. I'm going to say a little bit of that oak spice kind of kicking in, but in a, but it's elegant. Um, that pot, that sweetness, mm -hmm. definitely sweetness of like pear, apple, strawberry, pipe tobacco, a little cola, that star anise. Um, and it's getting a little bit drier, but it's also very, very, very pleasant. A little bit less of the funk, mm -hmm. the, the motor oil funk that you were mentioning mm -hmm. on the palate, but it's a, the reminiscence of it there, especially once you get it on the nose. It reminds, of you, it reminds you of it on the palate as well. A very unique superstar whiskey. Interesting. Did they need 40 years for the nose, which is like almost perfect? Because to me, the palate might be a tad too old, a tad too aged. The oak came, oak came through, yeah, took over. Now it is going away a little bit. Yeah, everything on the nose is popping out, but it just kind of makes me wonder, right? Yes, maybe a little too much age. Because yeah, you're getting more of like that age Glen Grant. You're getting the antique furniture, the old leather chair the more aged cigar wrapper. But now, as I'm talking, everything else is popping out, so. It's popping, but would you agree with me without, you know, first time having it on the palate, but would you agree with me it's two points better on the nose? That's my point. Yeah. yeah. You know, you always want to find that perfect balance, and Silvano is the master of that. And he bottled everything at cask strength, so this 47.3 is cask Ooh, strength. Yes, sir. So. 180 bottles. Yeah, that's my only thing is, yeah, like at first palate, might be a little bit too old on the palate. Curious. Yeah, you go back to the nose, it's just heaven, man. And Solana, because of things like what you're mentioning, didn't really pick casks that were 40 years old. No. You know, he would, he would pick, the, you know, one of, one of his best bottles, the Glengarry eight, is eight years old. Yeah. No, it's funny, like, some of my buddies that are kind of getting into whiskey, you know, they watch stuff and they just assume the older the whiskey, the better. I'm like, let me introduce you to a guy named Silvano Samaroli, my friend. Yeah. How old is Bouquet? How old is Lafroig, 67, 15 year old? So it's all about the cask, man. I think the most unique, because I'm such a licorice lover, right? And you, you know me with the licorice. Yes, sir. Importing it from all over the world because it's not good yeah, enough. Yeah, you guys remember States. Narby was born in Sweden. And, and, and obsessed with licorices and things like that. When my friends, anyone who travels in Europe, I always ask them to bring back licorice yeah. too. So that star. That is the anise star. Anise is so unique for yeah. me. So unique. It gets star a, anise is the star. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, I know. Yeah, and then it comes out more with a little bit of water. But this nose, this nose is so unique. It's so confusingly, amazingly complex. Oh, fuck. Um, and I'm not fully getting that on the palate like you were saying. That's my point. Yeah. Let's and, hit it one more time on the palate. Yeah, though. and you know sometimes how it works, like... The better the nose, the more you crave the exact same thing on the palate. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's unfair to the whiskey sometimes. Man. I think it, that water was nice for the palate too, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Mm. Absolutely incredible. Mm. I do, I do wonder what this whiskey would be like. Yeah, it helped. It helped. I do. I took a big sip. I do wonder what this whiskey would have been at, like let's say at twenty five to thirty years old. Right, I'm saying. Uh, but who knows? There's no way to know. There's no way to know. Um, all we do know is this is incredibly special. We are obviously we want to try the whole book, the whole spectrum. Uh, of whiskeys, this is you know the owner of this Emmanuel Drawn, 
he he also wrote a, a very very say, special speaking book. Speaking of books, yeah, yeah, he also wrote a very special book. Uh, we'll, we'll bring a review of that book. Um, I'll wait till you come over next time, and we'll do uh, yes, we'll do a review of the book. Uh, but just incredibly special. We we really just part of our journey is to try every single one of these special Samaroli bottlings. You know, a, you know, part of our bucket list. We got to cross this one off. We're not going to own a bottle of this, but that's okay. Uh, we got to try it and spend some time with it, appreciate it, get to know it a little bit. Um, and it's just ultra, ultra special. Um, I will let you guys know. Usually I just name the score. I And, and in a very few times I will say, like, I do need more time for it to be more of an accurate yes. score. Yeah. This would be one of those. Uh, but right now... I do did prefer it over the uh, the nose over the palate quite a bit, um, but overall it's it's a masterpiece and it's ninety four out of a hundred for me. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm between ninety four ninety five, and really like a lot of people will ask us, how do you differentiate ninety five above ninety six ninety seven etc. It's really when that palate matches up to that perfect nose or can be even better in that yeah. perfect nose. But right now, I'm gonna go 94 as well. Yeah. I'm torn, but I'm gonna go 94 as well. Yeah. But yeah, could easily approach 95 with more time with the whiskey. And when, when I was nosing this whiskey, I was- that, that gap. Yeah, when I was nosing this whiskey, I was more in the 95, the 96 territory, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah, um, oh, even 96, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pop out potentially. I mean, that's the difference, yeah. Yeah, but I, uh, but relatively speaking, this is, this is an incredible masterpiece, and, and it's a 94 right now, but it doesn't matter, 94, 95. Oh my God, just matter. thank God, the glass, yeah. nose in the yeah. glass, man. Yeah, it's a 96 nose Yeah, we day. geek out. We spent like 15, 20 minutes oh. nosing the glass, empty glass after these kind of reviews, oh. so just incredible. Um, if you guys want to see more reviews like this, we do tons of these museum piece style whiskeys. That's what we're into. We also do some regular release stuff, um, kind of covering the full spectrum. But if you guys want to see more of this, um, subscribe, click the bell. Thumbs up is most appreciated. Helps the channel yes, grow. Uh, when you guys help the channel grow, we bring more content out for you yes, guys. Sir. All right, let's us know that you guys want to see more. Um, and we do have a lot more to show. So we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers.